Hey there everybody, in this beginner clarinet lesson we're going to learn how to put together our clarinet mouthpiece, barrel, and reed. We're going to learn how to make the clarinet embouchure, which is the way we shape our lips when we play, and we're going to make our very first sound on the clarinet. So here we have our clarinet case, and as we learned in our first lesson, we're going to place our clarinet case on a flat, sturdy surface, and before we open the latches, it's really important to make sure that your clarinet is right side up. In other words, we want to make sure that the top side of the clarinet is on top. And we can tell usually by the label of our clarinet company is right here on the top. So we want to double check that and then we can open the latches and lift the lid. We're going to be putting together our mouthpiece, the barrel, and the reed. So the first thing we're going to do is pick up the reed, which is in one of these reed cases. And there's some important things that you need to know about reeds. So we're going to take a quick minute and talk about reeds. This is a reed. A reed is a small, thin piece of wood-like material that's used by woodwind instruments in order to make a sound. Reeds come in different types and sizes for different instruments. For example, this is a clarinet reed. And this is an alto sax reed. You can see it's a little bigger. This is an oboe reed, and it looks kind of strange. It's actually two little reeds tied together. It's called a double reed. Reeds are made from a tall wood-like plant called cane. It's, it's kind of like bamboo. And at a factory, they take the cane, they cut it down into small pieces, and then they shave off part of the bark, very thin, and it turns it into a reed that we can use for an instrument. You have to be really careful when you're holding your reed because this thin end at the top will chip or break if you accidentally bump it up against something. And when it gets chipped, it won't work anymore. Here is a sad little reed whose owner was not very careful with him and kind of bumped him up against the chair. And look, he's all cracked and broken and he's not going to play music anymore. He's so sad. We have to throw him in the trash. Now, even if you're really careful with your reed, you probably accidentally break a few reeds during your beginner lessons, so don't feel so bad about it. When you're not playing your instrument, your reed is stored in a reed case. It might look something like this. When you put your reed away, you have to very carefully place the thin end into the case and slide it in just far enough that it stays there. Here's another kind of reed case you might find. We put the bottom part of the reed in first and then the rest of the reed like that. Turn your reed over and look at the back. You'll see the name of the company that made your reed. This is a Rico reed. And you'll also see a number printed there. Can you see that number two? This number tells you the strength or the thickness of the reed. As a beginner, your reed strength is probably going to be a two or a two and a half. And as you progress with your teacher's guidance, you'll probably move up to a three or a three and a half. And the final thing we're going to learn about reeds is reeds work best when they are wet. So the first thing we do when we're putting our instrument together is you place the reed in your mouth, place the thin end of the reed in your mouth up till about this point. So this part should be sticking out of your mouth and you hold it there while you put your instrument together. Don't put the entire reed in your mouth. Place the thin end of the reed in your mouth just up to where this bark starts here. If you don't want to put the reed in your mouth, you can use a small container of water like this and just set the reed in there to soak while you put your instrument together. So now that we know all about reeds, we're going to take our reed and place it either in your mouth or in a container of water to soak while we put together the mouthpiece and the barrel. Let's take the mouthpiece here. And you can see the mouthpiece has this helmet looking thing on top. This is called the mouthpiece cap. We're going to take this off. We don't need it right now. And then you also have this metal piece which has screws on it. This is called the ligature. And the screws of your ligature might be tight. What we're going to do is we're going to loosen those screws and we're going to slide the ligature off the top like this. And we're going to put the ligature down because we don't need that just yet. Here we have our clarinet mouthpiece. And you can see the one end has a hole and this end has a hole, but it has cork around it. We're going to pick up the barrel and we're going to attach the mouthpiece to the barrel. The barrel has two ends. It has a smaller end and it has a big end. We want to put the mouthpiece into the smaller end of the barrel. And you can tell this will be just about barely fitting. 
and this will be really loose. We want to go into the smaller end. Whenever you're putting two parts of your clarinet together, it's supposed to be airtight and a really snug fit. So we grab both parts with a firm grip and we shimmy back and forth while we push the parts together. And with a little bit of muscle, you're gonna get these two parts together. Now, if you're using a lot of, a lot of muscle and you still can't get these two parts together, we have something called cork grease that we put on the cork makes it easier to put the parts together. Let me show you how we do that. Here is our cork grease, and it kind of looks like a tube of chapstick, but it's not chapstick, so don't put it on your lips. We're gonna take the cap off and just put the cork grease around the cork, all the way around the cork, and rub it in with your fingers. And then you'll find that it's easier to put these two parts together. Now we're ready to take our reed and attach it right here on the mouthpiece. Take a look at your mouthpiece. You can see there is a flat, smooth side to your mouthpiece where the hole is. We want to lay the reed, the flat side of the reed, on the flat side of the mouthpiece. And we want the thin end of the reed to be at the top. So you should see on the flat side of your mouthpiece, the thin end of the reed at the top, and the thicker end of the reed, the part with the bark, is going to be towards the bottom. So as you can see, I'm holding the reed in place with my left thumb here, and with my right hand, I'm going to pick up the ligature, and very, very carefully, I'm going to place the ligature over the reed and mouthpiece. And I'm going to push the ligature down so the ligature is over top the dark part of the reed, the part where the bark is. If you need to loosen the screws to push it down further, you should do that. There we go. So make your reed and your mouthpiece and ligature look just like mine. And make sure that the tip of the mouthpiece is almost perfectly even with the tip of the reed. And I'm going to close the clarinet case so you can see this better with our white background. Can you see how the reed is almost even with the tip. We're gonna push it up just a little bit so you can see maybe just a hairline of the black mouthpiece behind the reed. That is perfect. So make your reed and mouthpiece look just like this. Then we're gonna tighten the screws and they don't have to be super, super tight, just tight enough that the ligature won't come sliding off. There we go, that's perfect. So take a look at your reed, mouthpiece, and barrel, and just make sure it looks just like mine. You're now ready to make your first sound on your mouthpiece and barrel.